this is we're using an IR camera right now. It is dark in the blind, but it is light outside. And this is what it looks like outside. Right there. Still light. Just dark in here. So I'm gonna do the filming. Steve is gonna do the shooting. We've had a doe walk by, but we're waiting for pigs. We've heard them off to the right in the woods here. But we don't have uh, permission to hunt over there, so we're waiting for them to come across the fence. See y'all in a little bit. Afternoon, folks. <clears throat> we're down here in uh, Salado. I'm going to try to shoot some pigs tonight. Just looked at the camera. Got a lot of coyotes coming in, so if they come in, we'll shoot those instead. Um, they do a lot more damage taking uh, pets and the little rabbits and squirrels and stuff. So pigs will tear up a lot of ground, but uh, coyotes will kill a lot of, a lot of pets. So we want to get those coyotes out here. There's quite a few of them. So if they show up, we'll get those kind of pretty out here. All the leaves are starting to change colors. Here it is the 2nd of December, but they're just now starting to turn down here. I'll give you a view of them here. Let's see here. You can see all the reds, the greens, the yellows out there. So we're going to shut this off for now and uh, when we get some wildlife out here we'll, uh, we'll bring you back, okay? Good afternoon, folks. It is uh, probably about one o'clock. Uh, let's see here. Actually, it's 1.06. So, I just got out here to my blind. Uh, I did scare a deer coming in, but we're not looking for deer. I'm shot out on uh, deer on this side of the county. So, um, 
hopefully we're looking at for some pigs uh, we got this new feeder set up doesn't show to be any pig activity around it right now of course maybe some coyotes will come in too I don't know I'd rather have the coyotes than the pigs but uh, we'll see what happens this is what uh, my new area looks like here right down there big tree right there the feeder is hanging in it you might be able to see the bottom of the feeder sticking up there uh, but that's where the feeder is hanging and it's probably 35 40 yards from where I'm at if that far so we'll see what happens haven't had any luck the past couple of times we've been out in that other spot so and there's a lot of hog sign over there there just ain't no pig showing up So, what we're going to try to do is uh, sit in this new spot and just see what shows up. I know I've got eight raccoons showing up down there. So, uh, if nothing else, maybe we can get one or two of those. But we'll see. And I'll bring you back if there's any excitement. So. In this clip here, you'll see there's a, uh, a buck down there underneath the feeder. Uh, he's probably an eight point. He's got a uh, broken tine and an injury to his left front shoulder or left front leg. He's limping on it. Uh, if you watch through the trees down there, uh, you'll see another deer moving around. Uh, and there's a squirrel on the ground down there. This buck stays for quite a while. Uh, didn't seem to be too nervous, but kept looking off into the woods. And it's probably because that other deer was down through there.